typically we we f- go from side to side on this. We slide around on this. No one is in a permanent state, but you can put a, a good amount of information and effort in to stay as close to the right as possible because you don't want to be to the left. To the left is just is just you know it's not good. All right. So on the far left is the the mental state of, and this is the. This is the sad guy. He's sad. He's depressed. And this is the I can't. Okay. I can't. And this is when you say no matter what you are, and this is the number one enemy, you are demoralized. Okay. I talked about this on Red Pill Thor's uh, Dragon Ship. You know, the demoralization is is just the number one enemy of your life. And that is the number one thing that the government tries to do, the elites are trying to do right now, is trying to demoralize the population. Demoralize the population through economic suffering. You demoralize the population through just bad news, right? You, you demoralize people through consistent bad news, through, through propaganda, you name it. Demoralization is the worst thing ever. You can have the strongest military in the world with the best weapons and the best guns and the best ships and the best aircraft carriers. But if the, if the people are defeated, if the people are demoralized, nothing matters. Nothing you do matters. Okay. And this is where you do not want to be. You do not want to be demoralized. Okay. A lot of guys and they come here, right? And they and they join my community and stuff. A lot of guys start. I mean, I, I would not, I would say a lot of guys start on the channel with the I can't. And a lot of people right now are trapped in this I can't mindset. Okay. And another thing is this, real quick. See, you have to understand that when it comes down to your your inner game and your mental state, okay, if you're not like this bad, this this negativity, this demoralization, it sneaks up on you. You have to understand this is a battle you're going to have to fight for the rest of your life, okay? You can get demoralized through music that you listen to. You can get demoralized through social media this is why i don't I, I advise people not to watch like red pill hate porn and black pill stuff like i often hear people saying like oh i just want to have a well-rounded approach and blah 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 I, I don't care what you think i don't care what your perspective is you're wrong okay jim rome talks about this and he says your life is like a cup of coffee all right and Negativity, bad stuff for you. It's like putting strychnine in your coffee. But I make it simpler. I just say it's like putting sh in your coffee, right? It's like taking some sh and putting it in your coffee, right? No matter how little, how small, how undetectable it is, I don't want a single drop of feces in my coffee at all. Period. And people out here are slurping sh- coffees left and right. Okay. They are drinking it up till the sun comes down. I do not want to associate with people who are negative, and neither should you. Negativity is the killer. Toxicity of negative people is contagious. Okay. It is the the life ender. It is terrible. It is something you do not want. Okay. And when you say like, oh, I'm just going to watch a little bit of this, this bullshit here and a little bit of this demoralization here, a little bit of black pill content, a little bit of disc girls, a cheater here, you know, like a friend of mine, he's a super rich guy. And he told me, he sent, he sent me this, this, uh, NBA player. And he's like, this NBA player got fucking fleeced and he, she got, he got destroyed by this chick. And I was just like, bro, like one, I don't care. Two. What you look for, you're going to find. And when you put that in your mind, you're saying, look, oh, okay. If you're not really have high, if you don't have really high levels of self-awareness, then you're going to be like, 
all women are cheaters, all women are whores, and no faithful, faithful, no faithful women are out there, and this is a terrible way to live life, okay? Don't even put that in your mind. Put in your mind things, social media, conversations with people of what you want. What you focus on expands, okay? That's the big trick about life. Whatever you focus on is what you're going to get more of, you know? That's why if you have a negative bias, you have to do some reframing. You have to restructure the way you look at things. You have to change the way you look at things because this demoralization is pure cancer, and it will ruin your life. It will ruin your life. And let me tell you something. You're not going to attract the quality women. You're not going to attract attractive women. None of that is going to happen. You're going to be completely down and out, and you're only going to attract broken women because you have a broken perspective on life. Okay? You know? And another part of this life is you got to understand some people are just too far gone and they can't not be saved. You have to accept it, right? You know, I have, you know, I, I was talking to my mom the other day about my sister and how my sister is just like psycho, psychopath. All right. I know my, I told my mom, like I said, you know, for, you know, my sister's a lost cause. She's just so negative. She's so wild. She's, you know, in and out of clubs and, her body weight's out of control. She's, you know, 37 now and, you know, forever single. And, you know, she's huge. And then she's just kind of gone down this, like, bad path. And just like, you know, it's just like no coming back. Like, I don't see my sister getting married or turning her life around because she would she would have died by now. Right? And every, every interaction with her was toxic. Every She's just toxic. Like, you have to just tolerate her when she comes around. And she lacks self-awareness. She lacks... Uh, the ability to understand that like, hey, you're fucking insufferable and people don't like you, right? You know, she's always cycling through friends and cycling through people and, you know, but it's it's everybody else's fault and it's never her fault. You know what I mean? And so certain people, when you identify these things, you have to identify, okay, this person is clearly an issue and you have to cut them off and you have to walk away. Or they are going to weigh you down. 